all right so now in this video i will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to ease your certified solutions architect professional exam in just one attempt from my personal experience i'll tell you all the things that you need to keep in mind while you are sitting for this professional exam and how you can ease this exam in one attempt okay but before we dive deep into that we need to talk about certain basic things that you should know about this exam so first of all it is going to be a three hours long exam and it is going to have 75 questions so 75 questions three hours or 180 minutes okay and speed is a major factor while you're giving the exam so you need to maintain your speed as well all right and this costs you around 300 usd but if you have solutions architect associate you're already certified onto that you can get 50 percent off onto this exam cool so basically aws says that you need to have at least two or more years of ex hands-on experience in designing and deploying the architecture on AWS before you, you sit for this particular exam. Okay, so this is just about a basic, means the things that you should know. And if you talk about the exam guide here, so you can see that uh, it has divided into four frameworks. Okay, so design for complexity, new solutions, improve the existing solutions and accelerate the migration and modernization. So your questions will be divided into these four sections. But I'm going to tell you the important things that you need to keep in your mind because I have seen many people who get pressurized because they think that if they are missing out on any question, they will, you know, fail the exam. But no, it's not like that. If you read this exam guide, you can see there is a section of unscored content. Okay, so in this out of the 75 questions, there are going to be 10 questions which AWS will not score, will not count your score towards the end result. Okay, and these questions will not affect your score because basically AWS, just, they are just taking the feedback from the uh, students, whether they are able to answer those questions or not, the level of, you know, the complexity of the questions and so on. So they will, they means they are thinking they should include this in future or not. So 10 questions completely unscored means 65 out of 75 only 65 questions consider the weightage okay so don't worry if you're not able to answer any question just don't think that you're going to fail it could be that it is just one of those questions which are not going to be answered like scored at the end all right so the passing mark of this is basically 75 so basically 75 percent you need but one thing again need to tell you that it is just based on scaled scoring okay this is completely based on scaled scoring. Basically, scaled scoring is different, right? It doesn't mean that, for example, there are 10 questions, you got seven, right? And you got, that means you got 70 percentage. It's not like that. Depending upon the difficulty of your exam, you will be scored. You will be, your each question will be weighted, okay? And it could be that you are answering 10 out of 5 questions right and your competitor is answering 10 out of 7 question right but you might pass the exam and he can fail depending upon the complexity okay i'll share you the link of that how this score is calculated in the video description so you can check that out but this is very important to keep in mind okay so now that's it for this thing like how you can design means uh, keep things in mind because keeping a calm mind is very important while you're sitting for this exam. All right, I'm not gonna jump into the syllabus because you can anyway go through this PDF and see what is the syllabus. But in from this PDF, I want to highlight the important thing that people usually miss out, all right? Now, the main part or the major part is how you can ease the exam and what type of questions I got in the exam. All right, so I have writ written this beautiful article on my LinkedIn, okay? I'll paste a description of this article in the comment section means in the description you can go through this article as well i have covered everything in this exam means how i is this exam so basically i'm gonna tell you the study material that i referred for my preparation so first of all i learned this and edrin Cantrell certified professional course basically this was an amazing course if you're looking for the complete hands-on experience to improve your networking skills basically adrenal course is one of the best course if you want to improve the networking part like how means um, how you can migrate your workload from on-prem to aws how site to site vpn works how direct connect works right so these are some things that adrenal central course has focused and you will not find those things anywhere i'm telling you so it's worth every penny 
okay just go for this course if you're looking for in-depth explanation and in-depth demos of this networking security and serverless components okay i referred this to stephen merrick solutions architect professional course for quick revision of the services in the exam it is just like my quick study material because stephen merrick has covered almost every service that is going to cover come into your exam so this is a good thing to before you know it's just a just like a fresh up that you need before your exam and the main now comes the main thing you need to practice as many practice papers as you can so i follow tutorials dojo neil davis and stephen merrick practice paper okay because tutorials dojo is i would say they will help you to improve your readability because their questions are very long just like you know in your actual examination the question format is going to be long okay so in order to get used to it it's very useful to go through the tutorials dojo neil davis and stephen merrick are very great in terms of the exam question similarity like i got almost three to four exam the like exact same questions from the test papers above so like this is simply so you can if you click on this link you will get you will be redirected to the actual link for what it is so you can refer this article okay i'll paste this article link again in the description now this is another like this is aws as its own skill builder means it's just like the udemy of aws where you can go and create an account and just start learning but this is a paid one so if you have the subscription it is better to go with this also because it is this will you know it's quite similar to the actual exam means i got almost the same score in both right i scored around 85% in both okay so i got like 84% in skill builder and in the actual exam also i scored 86 so this is pretty similar in terms of the actual examination and aws white papers were really helpful for getting in depth insights on the architectural perspective i have also pasted what white papers what all the white papers i used in this article only at the end okay so try giving these test papers again and again and until you score this 80 to 85 percentage means these three test papers you can refer and try to give it again and again until you are scoring at least 80 percentage don't get over you know don't get your confidence low if you're not scoring at least 50 60 percentage even that's not a problem so usually hap happened with me as well as for first time i scored like 65 percentage then next time i got like 75 the third time i got 85 so it it usually will increase right the more you practice the more you will be comfortable with the exam format and everything okay so yeah now comes my personal experiences the actual exam was a bit tricky tough and somewhat similar to neil uh, neil davis and stephen merrick as i told you previously so now usually the exam is like uh, two three hours exam but i'll tell you how i'll also tell you how you can get an extra 30 minutes okay which is very very important in you know for this particular exam i would say so i i got almost uh, three and a half hours so i completed the exam within two and a half hours and i got one hour left to review the flag questions okay so now comes the main part like what are the type of questions that covered that come came into my exam so first of all organization and control tower was heavily focused okay like the best practices to create and secure multi account environments scps guard rails iam permissions cross account permissions in multi account environments and so on so this was heavily focused i would say i got around 7 7 6 to 7 questions on uh, the control tower and aws organization okay next is the migration from on prem to aws was heavily featured also means the you need the terms that you need to focus is on the least overhead which is the more more faster which is the more cost effective etc so you will be you know the options are designed in such a way that they will be sound similar they will sound similar to you because you will see them and you will, you will be like oh it it can also be a it can also be b but the thing that you need to lick out is which is these term which will involve the least overhead which is will be more quicker which will be more cost effective and so on okay so services like snowball data sync snowcon was covered in the exam okay so you can just go through this like ecs eks also ecs anywhere was heavily covered eks anywhere i got two questions around eks anywhere as well and you know few of the folks like my friends also got questions on iot core and green grass as well so you can go through the aws documentation to see how these iot services integrate with kinesis data stream kinesis data firehose analytics and so on this is very important from the architectural perspective okay and the next come is the storage dynamo db aurora s3 fsx efs and so on all right so this is uh, the seven hours of migration that you need to keep in mind you can, i have also pasted the link you can simply click on the link and it will be redirected to the 
actual article or the content okay and these are the white paper links which I used for the exam so you can just simply go through these white papers these are the important ones but apart from this you can go through the other white papers as well but out of those I found these three very important in terms of networking and uh, big data services overview so my bonus tip will be that speed is very important while you're giving the exam as I said the exam is only three hours and you need to complete 75 questions okay if you're not sure of the any answer, just flag the question and move on. Don't waste your time. Means don't waste five minutes or ten minutes onto a single question. If you don't, you know, if you're not confident about any answer, just move to the next. Flag the question, and when your exam is complete, then you can come back to it later. Okay, and make sure you're having at least fifteen to thirty minutes to review the flag questions at the end. So this is my personal tip that I can tell you. Now comes the most important thing: how you can request for extra thirty minutes. So what you need to do is when you are just when you like for first of all this is only for those candidates whose first language is not English all right when you are scheduling your exam you can select request accommodation ESL plus 30 minutes before scheduling the exam okay remember before you schedule the exam you need to get the approval of this request accommodation so AWS has a brief article about this how you can request accommodation right you can click here and they will tell you like what are the steps to activate this go to your certification account then select the request accommodation then select ESL plus 30 minutes and then create you can see the status it got approved or not okay uh, but again this is for those individuals only whose uh, means whose means if your English is not your first language like I am from India so basically English is not my first language so I got approved for this extra 30 minutes but I'm telling you these extra 30 minutes is a blessing this will help you a lot okay I was chill because I know I had extra 30 minutes to review at the end but you need to practice with to finish your exam within two hours and 45 minutes okay because you need to make sure that you get as much as time to review the flag questions an unpopular tip is the exam is very very long trust me guys you have to give the entire three and three and a half hours in a single sitting so you need to make sure that you're getting a proper sleep and before the exam you can have a uh, means energy drink like red bull or a strong coffee so that you don't feel dizzy or sleepy during the exam because you need to maintain your entire concentration for three hours so just get a good sleep have us to good coffee and that's it okay but yeah this is just my personal experience feel free to do it as per your time management so I will paste this, the link of this in the description okay you can go through this you can get the resources from here I have pasted created a sim links a hyperlink for everything so the resources will be handy to you all right and now the thing about the scoring so yeah I told you how AWS calculate the scores right so I'll also paste the link of that in the description itself so you can go through this how the scaled scoring works but remember 10 questions will going to be un means they're not going to be scored towards your actual result and uh, so yeah if you're not getting the right answer to any question don't don't panic just think like it's not going to be counted towards my actual result okay so yeah this is all the tips and tricks from my experience what are the things you need to keep in mind just stay calm okay you need to tell yourself constantly that yeah you're going to make it you're going to make it you're going to make it stay calm keep your composure read every option carefully and yeah the thing that makes most sense to you just go for it but remember to look out for these terms more faster least overhead or cost effective I'm telling you people get confused they did miss out these terms and they answered wrong okay so I don't want you to happen with you guys yeah so that's it from my experience thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if this was helpful please thank you guys see you